It's the final countdown. Surrey Motel. We eat breakfast here. They got a better um, buffet than in Jap. The in Jap is yeah, right up there. That green and white building up there. That's the engine up up there. And we just came over here to eat a better buffet. This is Zuri Motel. It looks nice. It's a blue butterfly thing. <laughs> Get you a closer look. Cool. And then, this is decorated very well. Oh yeah, it looks nice. We just ate a buffet there. It was really good. Let's go, Mom. And then uh, we stayed in the end jet mode and then ate at a better buffet here. <laughs> oh, end has got a, they, they got a half decent buffet. How much is a buffet at end jet? The same price, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same price as here, but this buffet is better. I know that it was 400 and some pesos uh, a piece. Uh, it's like less than $10. Piece. It was worth it because it's hit and miss if you go around town and try to get a breakfast. It's not going to be that good. It's just going to be, and you might get sick or something. Better just to go to a five star motel and eat buffet. Right, Ma? All right, it's hot. Let me get the uh, AC. <laughs> Well, you know, yesterday I had an all-day dental appointment, which we finished early, you know, like around 4 o'clock or something like that. So you see the temporaries on the bottom, 12 of them. So it's encouraging. What is really going to be making me happy is next week, he thinks it's going to be next week, but the next appointment, I'm going to get all these temporary... So that's the finish of the temporaries on the bottom. And uh, I, a lot, ha I'm happy with the progress so far, but I'm really going to be happy when I get opposing teeth, which is going to be within the next two visits. The next visit, all these temporaries will turn permanent. And once he gets the permanent ones in there, after that, he will take an impression of exactly where the permanent ones lie at. And then... The upper denture is going to be made to clip into the implants. It'll be time. They'll be healed up. So that's a three-month, three to four-month wait for a bone graft to heal. You know, a bone graft and an implant to heal it takes three to four months. So this is how it is. You know, you got to, the bone has got to melt and grip everything in there. It takes a little bit of time, so... Um, he can't rush that. That's a set. That's a set thing right there. But uh, if you don't need a bone graft, um, you know you can get it a lot quicker. You can do what I've done a lot quicker. I'm quite sure you're not going to get a full mouth restoration, so it's not going to be the time that it took me anyway. But uh, he's doing good. So then, once he gets the full, the permanent ones in there on the next visit, he's going to take an, another impression. And he's going to use that to make the denture. And so I'm excited about that, getting opposing teeth. I'm very excited right now, you know. I mean, I'm happy with his progress, but I'm not really happy with, you know, chewing and everything because, you know, I got no teeth upstairs waiting for that to heal. So I got seven teeth. I had a parcel, I had seven teeth in the middle, and I had a parcel on both sides before. But, you know, 
it was taken a, it made me too on the 17th that, you know, the parcels, you know, they just, I don't know, they're not like a solid, you know, a solid thing in your mouth. So they're moving around a little bit. So it makes you chew on the teeth that you have left and it kind of wore them out and they were front teeth anyway. You know, you're not supposed to really chew with your front teeth. So it was wedged and stuff down there and made it hard to clean. Yeah. What'd you say? You can have it all, yes ma'am. Yeah, I ate, I'm stuffed, eh? Oh, uh, she's not gonna eat that pizza? All right. So, if they made a rice pizza, she might eat it. <laughs> so, temporary stuff right there. And, uh, I just, you know, that was yesterday. And, uh, like I said in the video, we, uh, if you, I showed in the walk where the, uh, where exactly NJAP was yesterday. But, you know, and so you know where NJAP motel and the dentist office is, but right across the street, you know, the NJAP doesn't have, they have a, uh, all you can eat, and they have a buffet, all you can eat for 400 some pesos that we've tried and it's half decent. It's not too bad, but right across the street is the Zuri Motel down about two blocks. You can see it from the front of NJAP, it's a Zuri, Zuri Hotel. And they got an awesome buffet, breakfast buffet. And it's the same price, 400 some. So my advice is if you're gonna get dental work in Elo Elo, go, go to Quality uh check into um, NJAP because it's about one fourth the price of Zuri. And it's clean. It's it's an old motel, hotel. It's older, but you know it's like I don't know how many stories, fifteen or something. And uh, it's a very clean, and you know it's it's every time you're gonna do is sleep in there anyway. My advice is to stay there, get your dinner work, take that walk like I took, and then in, in the morning for breakfast go across the street. You could walk over there, but I mean you could drive down there. They just let you park in the front in the morning, right? You know where you pull in to check in. There's, there's like 20 parking spaces out there, so. And you can just walk in and eat there, so. It's a very good buffet. It's a five-star hotel. You know, it costs, like I said, like four times as much as in Japan. So, that's the ticket. That's the ticket for a budget. Uh, for a parcel social security retirement program, that's my ticket. So, full mouth restoration, construction underway. Uh, this 62 to freedom and I hope y'all guys have a great day um, Hit the subscribe button hit the uh, hit the light hit the if you really want to support me hit the super thanks It's okay. You don't be ashamed. Just go ahead and pounce on that thing. Bam! Bam! This is the house I made uh, I cashed in my 401k and I built this house <laughs> That's an outdoor bath Hey, it's good to be home, man. <laughs> Traveling is fine and all that. Driving is not so fun. But seeing other places is fine. But when you live on the sea, man, it's always good to get back home. Wow. I missed it. Hmm. It does seem like there's a little bit more sand there where I put that... I don't know. It looks like a little bit bigger cut there than there. I think it does stop a little bit of sand. It appears to be building up. Of course, it's not been raining real hard either. So. And it's starting to rain right now, though. So I'm going to get back to the house. Welcome to 62 to Freedom. You know, if you're new to the channel, I cashed in my 401k built this house out of solid steel and concrete no hollow block no cinder block or nothing like that which is normal around here i wanted something very solid i added some extra columns to make it even sturdier because this is the ring of fire and this is buka song and T this is zaragoza buka song and tk western visayas panay island western visayas so there you go that's where it's at. 
And that's the Sulu Sea right out there. I built this house. Oh yeah. I uh, started saving with my 401k when I was 47, retired at 62. That's what I did. Now I don't have any rent and taxes are so low here, it's it's uh not applicable. In slash A. Oh, it really looked good. That looks really good. Woo! Oh, the hot chips. 